Carl Monk. This gentleman should be in every textbook. Should be there next to Tesla. Should be there next to Victor Schaubug. Should be there next to some of the marvelous people that have discovered amazing things. And because it falls into the out of place artifacts, is dismissed. Like I'm sure my findings are. But Carl Monk, he discovered, and he was a cryptology type dude, probably one of those Mensa type people. He discovered that if you made the Giza Pyramid the prime meridian, that hundreds of structures on this planet fall into his code. Now, if one or two or three structures, and if you watch his several hours of videos or even get his book and look through it, I I've taken structures that I didn't even know were in his book, figured it out, said, wow, it works, later to find, well, he, he, you know, he knew it. But, and it only works when you know structures exist. Like there are mountains in South America that are pyramids under trees. Just like now how China is burying, is planting trees on top of pyramids that dwarf the Giza pyramid. They're 800 plus feet tall, where the Giza pyramid is 350, 380 if you assume it has that py the pyramidian on top. Um, they have ones that are 800 plus. So it's not the largest thing. History is painted. We are told what they wish us to know. Urju, Charlotte Isabee, another name everyone should know. Just if you run her through your favorite search engine, I recommend Start Page, and figure out who she is, Th that'll answer all your questions. Deliberate dumbing down of America. It's not a uh, theory, it's a fact. But if you put the prime meridian at the Giza pyramid, which happens to be up there at like 19 point whatever degrees, 19.5 or whatever, above the equator, what occurs is a lot of the structures fall into what Carl calls the geomathematics. What it is, is this, the structure, whether it be a circle or actually a square, you don't have to worry about a pyramid, tells you whether it's in radians, 360, or the square is actually pi. And then whether it's like two circles on top of three circles, which would be two thirds, two over three, or whether it's nine levels over three levels, which would be, you know, one-third, because nine over three is one over, or one over three over nine is one over three, you know, and you do that math, and all the math, all the structures snap into those grid lines, which is why if you were to sit there and you were to take a lot of the structures, and you plot them, they all fall into those grid lines, usually between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer. Um, and actually, I think it actually narrows down a little bit less than that, but they fall into that because those are the grid points that are able to be mathematically made by the structure. And it tells you where you are. They are waypoints. Waypoints tells you where you are when you look down upon something like the buoys when you're traveling around within the harbor of a particular location. You see a buoy, it has a number, you look on a map. In this case, you look at the structure, it tells you where you are, and <laughs> if you look at the code, it'll, it tells you where you are both uh, long or latitudinally and this tells you that they were using the exact same 90 degrees, the equator being zero, and 
sometimes latitudinally. Now, latitudinally comes into things like Stonehenge, where it goes off at an angle, and there's a second thing there. And that's where the, the pyramids, there are other pyramids, and the other ones next to it tells you the rest of the story. The rest of the story. So, and that is the pyramid code. Not to confuse you with the Camelot people, the pyramid code. They are focusing on a lot of things, but they're following the wrong dogma and skewing the facts. I, I'd, I'd love to talk to her. Hi, call me, email me. It's not hard to find. Um, and I'll help you. These people, you know, we talk about implosion energy. I'm on it. King's Chamber. Hello. You know, the hydrogen oxygen coming together. One one seventeen hundredth, com you know, compression. That kind of implosion. Uh, Sidetrack. Um, Carl showed how when Christopher sailed around the world and proved, hello, world's round, stop saying it's flat, you know, Wright Brothers, fly an airplane, stop saying I can't fly. Um, they, they being the Lloyds, uh, not the Lloyds, the London people, the Empire, Illuminati, Mason, Templar, they are the money changers. Let's just work with the money changers, because that's how they kind of refer to them in the Bible, right? The money changers of the world decided with their ego that they wanted to make Greenwich, England, ground zero. And that skewed the whole mathematics of the code, as Carl points it out. But if you were to take, instead of the Greenwich, England, and make the Giza Pyramid, all that math works. That's the scary part, is it all works. And um, anybody who makes globes out there who's willing to take and skew that, I will gladly put a link right here in my video to you. I don't care if you sell the globe. I would rather it be something inexpensive right now. I'm looking for something at a price point of about 20 bucks. Uh, of course, like a decade from now, that could be $200 million, like the way the lira went. But um, I would like to promote that because I would like to return us to what was. I would like to step out from underneath the IMS, IMF, the Federal Reserve. I would like to step out from underneath Carm uh, Common Core. I would like, or, or uh, Communism Corps, as some people would like to put it, I would like to step out from that and really return us to the awakening. I would like to, you know, like they had the Renaissance, I would like to be just the age of the awakening. Agenda 21B. If you don't know what Agenda 21 is, favorite search engine, that would be A G E N D A. 21, 21, you can get a couple of videos at Agenda21B.com, because there is no Planet B, therefore I have Agenda21B. need to wake us up to the reality of physical science in the world we live in. We need to stop being in the George Orwell 1984 world that we are living in where we are being force-fed lies all day long on TV. Things like we are looking for an airplane that they know flew for several hours and landed because the engines have phone home technology and a cellular communications and even probably satellite communications built within them and they know that these little guys landed at Diego Garcia. That would be D-I-E-G-O G-A-R-C-I-A Okay? I wonder if the CIA bit. No, this is like an English thing. So, anyway. Um, Diego Garcia. This 
we are being lied to every day. I want to wake us up. I want to show that electricity, the knowledge of electricity, and manipulation of elements has been known long before we, in this current era, I'm not saying current era as to dismiss after Christ, you know, the B.C. and A.C. I'm not uh, Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. I, I believe that the Bible is something to follow. you got to remember, three decades ago, everything was organic. Well, maybe a century ago, everything was organic. Three centuries ago, most everything was organic. It's only this the current now, today, that we are eating plastic food. Get totally getting sidetracked, but it's all on the same big picture. I wish to, with your help, please to the world. Let us please wake people up to nutrition and the knowledge that we are what we eat. If we eat plastic food with synthetic chemicals that make it smell and taste like the natural item we are eating, that's why they say natural flavors and natural colors, because they the color is trying to represent nature. It is not a color of nature, as some people put. One of my don't have it up here. The Power Hour dot com. Go there. And listen to this nice lady and her co-sponsors. The man's food versus God's food. You put a seed in the ground, it grows. Eat it. It's nature. One thing the pyramid did. You watch any of my videos, you understand. It learned from nature, like Victor Schalberger, another name. Everyone should know these things. This should be taught. This is knowledge that that should be disseminated to everybody, but isn't because it's like Tesla. It's it's trying to awaken everyone to what's around us, so we know what's going on, and by us being less educated. By us not knowing what's going on, we are easier to control. We are railroaded into believing what they tell us. The, the nice men in black can walk up to you and bark a command. And unless you know that they are lying to you, and, and the nice Supreme Court says they can lie to you. They can. If you don't know your rights, we can lie to you all day long. You have to know your rights. Exert your rights. I, 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 I can't. This is. I need people to wake up. Unless we all realize. Unless we stop watching football and baseball and soccer and whatever. Dancing with the Stars is on TV. And we start paying attention to history and what got us to where we are today. We are going to wake up with homeless and penniless in the physical land that our forefathers fought to defend with the blood. Because we are going to be we are going to sign ourselves on to and just submit to the tyranny that's all around us where if we wake up and we are knowledgeable and we just pay attention to the world around us and realize you are what you eat and stop eating plastic foods and just because it looks and smells like something doesn't mean it is something. Read the or honey bottle. Read your, your uh, maple syrup bottle. Look at your sugar packet. When, when there's no sugar in it and there's no bee in it and there's no, you know, sap from a tree in it, this is scary. We are eating fake food. We are eating man's food instead of God's food. We're eating plastic food. We're eating synthetic food. You know, soon we're gonna, the whole replicator thing on Star Trek is, is going to be like reality, where they can print an egg. Bill Gates has given us the technology to in, synthetically make an egg that no chicken was involved with. You know, Non-dairy eggs. 
It's great and wonderful, but you're eating fake food. You're getting no nutritional value. You're eating to fill your stomach, but you're not filling your body. You're going to get sicker. You get sicker, you get weaker, you get weaker. You know, it's like when when we the people <laughs> gave the wonderful Indians blankets and stuff that had smallpox and, and other stuff on it to weaken them and make them sick so that we can walk into their camps and take them over easier. We need to be a strong, healthy people. We need to be armed people. We need to defend our Second Amendment. We need to wake up and realize that the world that we are living in is slowly warping into this 1984 world. The brave new world. The, the Logan's Run world. Where time to kill grandma because we got to hire ten teachers. Time to kill grandma. Time to kill your baby because he had blue eyes instead of green. Oh, I didn't like that one. Wow. You know, his, his toe is growing funny. You know, he's only about two and a half months old. Let's just sniff that little guy. Let's go ahead and throw him into the acid bath. Let's go ahead and make a, a Dorito out of him or something like that. Where are our morals? I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but this is just a plea to the world if you're taking the time to listen. Think about what we're doing. You know, we're, we're running around. The biggest thing I have, back of those funny reserve notes, they have a pyramid on them. Why? I, I can tell you why. It's all Illuminati. Which, Illuminati is like a bubble. Please, people, help me wake up the world.